fictional character once asked, Spiders! Why did it have to be spiders? Why couldn't it have been follow the butterflies? What if there's no butterflies left to follow, though? <laughs> Hey there, thanks for watching. I'm Trace. And I'm Julia. Monarch butterflies are one of backyard watchers' favorite insects, but they're disappearing. In the past 20 years, their populations declined almost 90%, from about 1 billion butterflies to just 35 million. While millions of butterflies left may seem like a lot, Tierra Curry, a senior scientist at the Center for Biological Diversity, says it would be like losing every living person in the United States, except those in Florida and Ohio. The rapid loss of monarchs may be traced back, like most loss of species lately, to human activity. Some scientists and advocacy groups, like the Center for Biological Diversity, claim that herbicides are wiping out the monarch caterpillar's main source of food, milkweed. The monarch caterpillar obviously becomes the monarch butterfly, so if it doesn't get to eat, that is bad. In response to this drastic decline, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is going to conduct a year-long review to see if the monarchs warrant protection under the Endangered Species Act. The Endangered Species Act was signed into law by President Nixon in 1973. For over 40 years, the protections from this act prevent animals from being killed or harmed by humans. Harm can include hunting, trapping, and most importantly in the case of the missing monarchs, habitat loss. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service designates a species as endangered if it's on the brink of extinction in most of its range. But scientists don't want to wait for species to get to that point. So there's another designation. Threatened means a species is likely to become endangered very soon. Most of the protections given to endangered species also cover those listed as threatened. But a threatened listing has a little more flexibility. Basically, it allows the Fish and Wildlife Service to choose which specific protections a species will get and which of these protections can be scaled back once a species has recovered. Thanks to the ESA, animals on the list have seen a lot of success. Favorite species like the bald eagle, gray whales, and wolves have been brought from the edge of extinction and many, many more are recovering. Even though the law is 40 years old, it couldn't be more important now to protect Earth's sensitive creatures. Some researchers think that we are in the middle of the sixth great extinction, only this time it's not a meteorite killing everything, it's, it's us. Human activity like hunting and poaching animals and habitat destruction, like clear-cutting forests, is the leading cause of world species loss today. And it's happening at a terrifying rate. According to the World Wildlife Fund, we've already lost half of the Earth's species in the last 40 years alone. Protecting species under the ESA, like the monarch butterfly, is just one small step the United States could take to stop this devastation. So what do you think? Should governments be doing more to protect a threatened species? To find out more on the next Great Extinction, check out this video right over here. And don't forget to subscribe for more D-News every day of the week.